According to Jordan Bianchi at The Athletic, the NASCAR Cup Series will likely only pay Bristol Motor Speedway one visit in 2024. That spring date specifically will get shifted off to another SMI property. Bianchi also said that the Bristol dirt race is all but dead. That's not coming back for 2024, and I know a large sect of the NASCAR fan base will be totally fine with that because you shouldn't cover up your best short track with dirt for a gimmick race. Having said all of that, NASCAR will continue to race on Easter Sunday night just at a new date. So for the time being, at least, it sounds like Bristol Motor Speedway will be sitting around in the spring looking like Steven Glansberg, just hoping its friends come back at some point. And hopefully they do. So where does that date move to? Well, it sounds like it's going to be to North Wilkesboro, and I don't know if that's good or bad because all of us watched the All-Star Race this year, and we're going to double the amount of laps. We're going to go from 200 to 400 laps for a points-paying event. And I'll be honest, I'm not sure we want to see 400 laps there. It's basically just Richmond 2.0, just in Wilkes County. And it's a bummer because everybody had high hopes for North Wilkesboro, and it's amazing that it came back to life. But North Wilkesboro has never been a track that really produced that great of racing. And now, especially with the next-gen car on a short track, it doesn't produce good racing at all. And then you throw stage cautions in there, and it really takes out any sort of chance of strategy. And Richmond last year was the one rarity in terms of having an actual strategy race on a short track. It was the outlier, the anomaly, and I hope we have more of that because it is rather interesting, even if Fox doesn't know what's actually happening. But going back to North Wilkesboro, the all-star race was pretty boring. Now do we want to see that for 400 laps? Not necessarily, but SMI did pump a ton of taxpayer dollars and a few of their dollars into the racetrack, and now they want to show it off. And apparently they have a 10-year plan for what they want to do with the facility and the future of it, which is great, except it doesn't race that well. I would love to see the Xfinity cars there for sure for a points paying race. I don't necessarily know if I want to see the Cup Series there for a 400 lapper, likely on Easter Sunday night. And it will be interesting if that racetrack does get the Easter Sunday night race just because of the fact that the South cares way more about Easter than a lot of people in the rest of the country, so that could affect attendance. But Bristol Motor Speedway likely loses its spring date because of the visual element of how poorly it looks on TV when there's only, say, 60 to 70,000 fans in the seats. Which is unfortunate because 60 to 70,000 tickets sold even for the spring race, and while it might look bad visually, is still double the amount of tickets sold for North Wilkesboro, and it's still more tickets sold for the NASCAR Championship race at Phoenix. But again, it looks bad and people lose their minds and take to Twitter. So it's a real bummer that Bristol's sort of being treated this way. And I see a ton of comments of being like, Bristol hasn't been the same since the reconfigure, which happened in like 2007. Bristol, new Bristol is 100 times better than old Bristol. NASCAR fans romanticize this idea of the single lane bottom feeding Bristol as being great. It wasn't great. It was just one long conveyor line around this half mile racetrack and every now and then you would get a bump and run and that's what they focus on. They're like, oh, 2002 Rusty Wallace versus Jeff Gordon or Jeff Gordon versus Rusty Wallace, however you want to phrase that. They think that's great. That's what they think of, except for the fact that like, those are just one lap moments. Those are literally 30 second moments and we forget about the fact that the races actually weren't that great. The progressive banking that Bristol has had has produced phenomenal racing for the last decade. If people would actually take away their bias and look at it, it's been really good. So, it's a bummer that we're losing the best short track on the schedule, potentially, potentially, uh, getting knocked down to only one race a season, which is unfortunate. Follow me on TikTok at BreakHard, Twitter and Instagram at BreakHardBlog, and like and subscribe to the channel.